Hey guys, today we are going to be learning how to solve a system of equations using elimination method, also known as linear combination. So this is going to be using our algebra skills to solve for the point of intersection of the two linear equations. So the first step is going to be in this process is going to be to stack the equations with the variables aligned. So if you'll notice here in our equation, the x's are stacked, the y's are stacked, the equal signs are stacked, and the constants are lined up. We want to look for the same coefficient with opposite signs on like variables. So we're looking for like variables. So we're looking for the same coefficient with opposite signs on the same variable. So y has a negative 3 and a positive 2. Those are not alike but opposites. But here with our x's, we have a 2 and a negative 2. When we combine these, that will allow us to eliminate the variable x. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to draw a line here as if I am combining those two equations together. So my x's are going to cancel because when I combine 2 and negative 2x, that gives me 0. Elimination. Combine negative 3y and positive 2y, we are going to get negative 1y equals negative 2 and negative 1 combined is going to give us negative 3. So we just divide both sides of our equation by negative 1 to give us y equals positive 3. So that's one coordinate of our ordered pair. Now we're going to go to our next step. We are going to substitute back into one of the equations. It doesn't matter which equation we use to get the other variable. Okay, so we need to get x. That is our next step. Get x. So we are going to use one of the two equations. I'm going to use the top equation here. 2x minus 3y equals negative 1. 2x minus 3y equals negative 1. But in the place of y, I'm going to substitute the number 3. So 2x minus 3, we're subbing in y equals 3. That has nothing to do with the coefficient, okay? That's our value for y equals negative 1. Now we have to go ahead and multiply the negative 3 and the 3. That is going to give us negative 9. Equals negative 1. Bring our 2x down, okay? Then we're going to use inverse operations to isolate x, to solve for x. Negative 1 plus 9 is going to give us 8, and then divide by 2. So we're going to get that x equals 4. So there's the other coordinate for our ordered pair. So our solution is going to be y equals 3, x equals 4. So our solution is 4, 3. That is going to be our point of intersection for our system of equations. Okay, let's try another example. Remember, we need to stack the equations. X's, Y's are stacked up. Equal signs are stacked up. Constants are stacked up. We're looking for the same coefficient with opposite signs on like variables. So right here, I can see I've got a positive 2Y and a negative 2Y. So this time, we're going to eliminate Y. We're going to combine the equations for our third step. When we combine our equations, our Y's are going to cancel out. And negative, negative 8X and positive 1X is, gives us negative 7X. And 0 minus 7 is going to be negative 7. Divide both sides by negative 7. We are going to get that x equals 1. So our x coordinate is 1. We are going to do the last step, which is to substitute back into one of the equations to get the other variable. So we need to get y. So I'm going to use the second equation this time. 1x plus 2y equals negative 7. X plus 2y equals negative 7, okay? And in the place of x, we are going to substitute the number 1 because that's the value we got for x um, when we solved the system, when we eliminated y. So 1 plus 2y equals negative 7. We are going to subtract 1, use inverse operations, subtract 1 from both sides. That is going to leave us with 2y equals 7 minus, negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8. And then divide both sides by 2, and I get y equals negative 4. So my ordered pair is going to be x equals 1, y equals negative 4. So 1, negative 4 is our solution to the system. Let's try one more example. Um, this example is a little different than the first two because if you notice, things are not stacked up. My, x, my negative 1x and my 4x are not stacked up with each other, so we need to swap the location of the x and the y here, okay? We're not going to have to use inverse operations for that, though. I'm just going to move the x over to the left side, 
and the minus 9y to the right side of the of that side of the equation, my negative 5 is still going to stay there. And then my 4x plus 9y equals negative 7. So we didn't have to use inverse operations because we were not moving across the equal sign. So let's go ahead and combine the equations. We should be able to eliminate y because negative 9 and positive 9 gives us 0, which is what we want. Negative 1x and 4x is 3x. And negative 5 and negative 7 is negative 12. Divide both sides of the equation by 3. We are going to get x equals negative 4. So let's go get our y coordinate. I'm going to use the, let's see, let's use the first equation because subbing in with the negative sign is interesting. Okay, so negative 9y minus x equals negative 5. All right, so we're going to sub negative 4 in for x. So that's negative 9y minus sign from the equation. Negative 4 is what we substitute in. We need both of those signs, okay? Be careful when you're substituting in. All right, let's use some integer rules here. I get negative 9y plus 4 equals negative 5. And then we are going to subtract 4 from both sides. We get negative 9y equals negative 9 divided by negative 9. We are going to get y equals 1. So our solution for the system is going to be x equals negative 4, y equals 1. So negative 4, 1 is our solution. Good job, guys, and good luck on your quiz.